Greetings fellas and welcome to my Japat review. I already got him from the Blade banner a day ago and I tested him at level 40 with some used relics here from March as well as the March Light Cone. I can really say that Japat is quite strong but the fact is that you still need to have a healer because a shielder alone won't help you in the new memory of chaos especially with march shield that depletes so quickly and you already know that march shield is more durable than japat's shield however japat shields all allies and that's the biggest difference of, from march so for the light cone his best in slot is day one of my new life and moment of victory depending on the team you're using. For Clara teams, day one of my new life is the best one and for Sealer teams or even Jingyuan teams, moment of victory is a better choice. For Tracers, if you're getting Japat in the current meta and you have not leveled him up, the first priority will be your ultimate and leave it there. The other traces are pretty useless in my opinion, but you have effect rest which is good. However, it is locked by damage boost. And guess what? We have four damage boost nodes here. So that's really, really bad for Japan kid. And his abilities unfortunately are useless and one ability particularly ruins your account and that is integrity if you're pairing it with a Clara team. So unless you really know what you're doing, you should activate integrity uh, or unless you are using it with a sealer team, that is the way you want to go and integrity will be your first priority if you don't plan to use Japan for a Clara team. For the second ability, it's pretty useless because right now we have healers and all and most of the time Japan won't get knocked down especially if you don't have integrity unlocked. So if you have integrity unlocked, you better unlock commander. And for fighting spirit, completely useless since Japan doesn't really need his attack at all. He's not really a sub DPS, so that one's a really really useless ability. For the relics, definitely you'll want to go for Peace Knight of Purity Palace. That is the best in slot. And right now, why not Bello Bot of Architects? Is because his shields from Bello Bot of Architects is not as potent even when compared to March with Fleet of the Ageless Equip. So I do not recommend you to use Bellowball of the Architects in the current meta, especially when you have the Ape in MOC08. The Ape can deplete the shield instantly, regardless of whether level 10 ultimate and the highest defense you can get, stacking defense on your rope and your sphere and your body, the ape will just deplete the shield in one shot. So, Bellow of the Architects is not the way to go currently. Now, the current way to go is Fleet of the Ageless and that is his new best in slot. For the boot, you will definitely use speed so that you can get your ultimate more quickly. And for your energy rope, you can use an energy rope or you can use a defense rope, up to you. For the sphere, it's always defense and the body, always defense. And for the sub stats, always defense percentage and speed, pretty much. Japan can also free some opponents, so if you want to, you can also stack effect hit rate on it. Eidolons wise, not many people will get his Eidolon since he is quite a rare character to get. But anyway, E1 and E2 seem to be pretty good. So, 
Jebat can actually act as a nihility character in two by reducing the speed. And speed reduction in the kit is pretty rare these days. And if you want to build on freeze comps, like for example Yan Ching and March 7th, one is really good. And the others are pretty hard to get, so I will not discuss this at the moment. So for Memory of Chaos, you will definitely want to pair Japart with a healer. And the best healer is not actually Locha, since Locha will not use his auto heal most of the time, and Japart limits it from his shields. So the next best healer in slot will be Natasha. So if you want to run the Sealer team or Xingyuan team, Xingyuan, Buffer, Natasha, Japart. Simple. However, you will lose all offensive capability here, so bear that in mind. However, if you're feeling very confident or for like the very early stages in MOC, you can swap out Natasha for another buffer. However, I don't recommend this at all because enemies will get tougher in the future MOCs. So definitely the best team and the most stable team will be Japan and Natasha. However, do note that Jepa is better for ice weakness enemies and fire MC is better for fire weakness enemies since fire MC is good at breaking and Jepa is there to freeze. So for example, this guy here, this frigid prowler is frozen rest. So it's not really the best choice to use Jepa here. So, But rather the best choice will be Fire MC in this case, since Fire MC can do fire breaks. And for example, MOC09, we have a ice weakness here, so definitely you want to run, for example, Clara, Tingyun, Japat, and Natasha. So this is pretty much like Esto. However, do note that. Remember, Japat doesn't have integrity unlocked, so this means that Clara will be getting a fair share of hits more often. And for the Light Cone in the Clara team, you will definitely want to use Day 1 of my new life. And this is currently the best in slot for Clara. This is pretty much a Japat guide for you in the new meta. Cheers!